Hey guys, it's Loves to Loom here. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute X marks the spot bracelet created by the very talented Loomy Mama on Instagram. She has made another fabulous design. I think it's super cute. Um, this bracelet is actually really easy to make and it does not take long at all to grow. So that's what I love about it too. Um, and it takes, I would say, like 90 bands or so depending on your wrist size. Um, I'll have the number and uh, Lumi Mama's link in the box below so you can check her out. Give her a follow if you're not already. Um, and without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get it started. To make this bracelet, you will need your hook and one C-clip. I am going to use a double-ended hook today, but you don't have to. Um, it's very possible to do with a regular hook, but I just like using this, so <laughs> I'm going to use it. Um, so first we're going to grab the inner color band first, which is going to be the white in this one. I'm going to use, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to use my silicone blue. We're going to make a cap band. Now you're going to grab two more bands of that same color, place it on your hook, pull it through the cap band, and reattach. We're going to grab another blue. This is going to go through the first two bands. We're going to pick up the outside band and place it back on our hook. And then you can close it off. Just make sure that this band over here that's wanting to slide out stays in its proper order. So for this first time, I'm just going to pinch it and turn it around because there's not really many bands here. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. Place another blue on. It's going to go through the first two. Pick up the outside band. Place it back on your hook and close it off. So now we're going to grab the first color that you want in your pattern or for the first X and we're going to bring this through the first two bands. Before you reattach it, you're going to pick up the band furthest to the left, place it on your hook, and then close it off. So we need to do the same thing on the opposite side, so I'm going to slide it down, grab another purple, I'm going to bring this to the first two. I'm going to pick up the outside band, place it back on, and then close it off. So it should look like that right now. So we need to cross these two purples in the middle to make our X. So you want them going on top of the blue, or whatever your inner color band is. And then once you have them crossed, I like to slide it down a little. Make sure you keep them separate. You're going to grab your inner color again, place it on your hook, and these are going to go, or this is going to go through the first four bands. So make sure you keep those first two in order. Actually, keep them all four of them in order. And then you're going to pick up the outside band, place it back on, and then close it off, like so. So keeping these in the order they are in, you're either going to turn it around or slide it down. Very important that they stay in this order. So we're going to grab our other blue, place it on, and that's going to go through the first four bands, keeping them in order. Pick up your outside band, place it on your hook, and close it off. And that should create your first X. You just want to make sure um, that the purple band or your X band is on top of the inner band. 
So it should look like that. And it'll look better as we have a couple on there. So now we're gonna grab the next color, whatever you want your next X to be. We're gonna pull it through the first two. Pick up the outside band and place it back on your hook. Then close that off. Slide everything down. Grab your next green. Bring it through the first two again. Pick up that outside band, place it back on, and close it off. So we need to cross our bands again. So you want that inner band going on top of the blue. And if you're turning your bracelet around and doing it that way, just make sure that when you cross it, that the outside cross is always facing the same direction. Grab your blue. It's gonna go through the first four bands on your hook. Pick up that outside band, close it off. Make sure you're keeping everything in order. Slide it down. Grabbing my other blue. And this is once again gonna go through the first four bands. I love this double-ended hook, but I really wish this groove here was deeper. And I know anyone using the same hook knows exactly what I mean. <laughs> So there we have our second X. Grab the next color band you want for your X. We're gonna start all over again, sliding it through the first two. Picking up the outside band, adding it on, closing it off. Slide it all down. Grabbing another color yellow, or whatever color this is supposed to be. Go through the first two. Picking that up, the outside band, and close it off. So we need to cross these in the middle. Like so. Grabbing my blue. And once again, going through the first four. Reattach the end one and close. I like to hold the outside too when I slide it just to make sure they stay in order. repeat on this side going through the first four like so so I'm gonna do my blue now and I'm not gonna keep explaining it anymore I think it's pretty straightforward
Alrighty guys, so that is how you make the X marks the spot bracelet. To close it off, you could do one of two things. You can either, um, if you're at the starting point of adding on your next pattern, what you would do is simply either just pull one band through all six of those. Um, if you don't want to do it that way, just because it might be like a lot of bands in there, basically you would just not pick up uh, the last bands that we add back onto the hook. So if you've already done it and you're like this like I am, you would just take off the two end ones and then let go of the inner one and then reattach the outside one like so and then you would do the same to the other side so just take them both off let go of the inner one reattach the outer one so it would be like that so you'd be left with four bands if you feel comfortable putting a c-clip on that you may certainly do so that always makes me nervous that it's going to pop off. So I'm going to slide one band through all four of these. And then that's what we will attach our C-clip to. Alrighty guys, so once again, that is the X Marks the Spot bracelet created by Lumi Mama on Instagram. Please tag her and myself loves to loom. If you make this, we definitely would love to see it. If you do like this design, please hit the like button below as well. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, you can also do so. And that way you can keep up with my latest tutorials. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all at my next video.